Hello everyone, I'm Solvolve and in today's video I'm going to show you some simple debugging codes on Furby Connect. I've been planning to do this for a while because I did do a debugging video ages ago on the Furby Connect. Um, so I wanted to show you a few things you could do with it. Uh, we've only got one shout out today and that goes to the Green Games. So we're going to use Decar as our Furby today and the NRF Connect app which is this one here as you can see right there. So open that up, and this is what we use to connect up to Furby. So we wake Furby up. Now as you can see it's picking up a few things here. It's picking up the Samsung TV that the neighbours have next door, and also something else. I'm not quite sure what it is. So once Furby's woken up, It should pick up Furby as well. And as you can see, it says Furby Life right there. So we press connect. And then it says Unknown Service, so we tap on that one. Which opens up this. Now the thing we have to do is press the upload one, which is the arrow pointing upwards on that second one there. And we type into there, D, B, and send. So now we're in debugging mode. And you can see on Furby's eyes. Yeah, really? <laughs> the, the debug things there. Which uh, tells you all the little things about Furby you don't normally Ooh, see. Oh yeah, I need this. Um, like, uh, for example, Wait. wellness, fullness. Oh, how displeased it is, how tired it is, how excited it is. Um, so that's the the little things in the eyes. Now we're going to do a few things to Furby so that you can see what the debugging does. I've got a whole list of things that I've written down right here and uh, we'll show you what Furby can do under the debugging menu. So if you uh, type in this Fourteen plus yeah, that's cool. you know what else is hashtag. If I can find. I can't even find the hashtag thing. Oh, there it is. If you type in fourteen plus hashtag, what? it will change the aerial color. Now I haven't written down any hashtag numbers, but if you look up on the internet, you'll see some hashtag numbers, and you can actually change the color of the light in the aerial for that one. That's not very exciting, though. Let's move on to the next one. So, we can get the yeah. Furby's eyes to turn off by typing in CD00. Uh, no. Wait, yes, wait. Mm, no. And Furby's eyes will turn off until it speaks again. Yeah. Like this. So that's just to turn its, uh, the LEDs off in its eyes until it speaks again. Whoa. Now the next ones are quite long codes. They all start with 13 zero, zero. No, 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 no. This one is 13 zero, zero, oh my God. 4B and then five zeros. One, two, three, four, five. Sorry, ten here That's this one. No, it's very long. And it's a bit bizarre. This one I had down as him talking about jingle bells, but it's not. Let's have a listen. He talks about a muscle man baby. Why so soon? It's a bit weird. But basically, that is for um, all the different songs and what have you on the app. You can put in two or three or whatever yeah, at the cool. end. You know what else is and cool? um, Gymnastics. he'll talk about something different. So, <laughs> that's what I like this one. Putting in two. <laughs> oh, nice. So cute. Um, do you even lift, Dino? He's talking about the weightlifting video. Okay, so the next ones are dreams. So if you type in um, one three zero zero four B, 
The B means songs. So talk about the songs on the app or the videos on the app. And if you type in 13004A, he talks about dreams. So, 13004A. And then three zeros. No. And a wait, one. Yes, wait. No. Uh, three zeros. One, oh, one. So now he's going to talk about cake. reason he talks about cake while sort of getting sleepy on that one. I think he may have talked oh, about cake God, before. So to be hungry. <laughs> and if you go zero six and then four yeah, zeros cool. at the end. You know what else is cool? Gymnastics. He's gonna talk about being a DJ. What? Mm, I wanna be now he's going to talk about being a princess. Now he's going to talk about being a ninja. Seriously? No, 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 no. Seriously? Ooh, yeah, I will be ninja. <laughs> Do? Really? Now he's going to talk about being a pirate. Okay, so you might have noticed earlier that he's hungry, so we're going to fill up his hunger. Okay, so the code for filling up the hunger is this one here. And I'll just show you what his hunger looks like at the moment. He's pretty hungry. So we've got here... Open your eyes, come on. Right, so it says here. Let's see. <laughs> oh, oops. Do 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 do. Come on, get loud. Let's make some noise. <laughs> you can see his fullness there is at zero. It's just above the displeased. There you go. Fullness zero, displeased zero. Okay, so if we tap this. Now we look at his fullness. Mm, why oh, no. so soon? Just please zero. <laughs> and his fullness is a hundred, so he's full up. That's probably my favourite thing on the debug because um, they're always hungry all the time, so you can just fill them up instantly. Okay, so the next one is to get it to say its name. So if you don't know what the Furby's name is, and you haven't heard your Furby say its name for a while, you type in this code. It's quite long, so just bear with me. Um, 13-0-0-2-1-4-0-1-2-3-4-2-F. And it'll get the Furby to say its name. Now actually the name is Deca. I don't know why he's saying Deco. It's quite weird. And he's never ever said it that way before. But that, that does basically make it say its name if you can't remember your Furby's name. The um Yeah, that's cool. You know what else is cool? Gymnastics. 
The LED light in its in its antenna apparently does 64 different colors that you can choose from and you can just set it up and you can um, do a hashtag like I said before with the color code after it. I can give you all these uh, different uh, inputs in the description so you can have a go yourself. Um, so there isn't really much else to say, that's pretty much everything. You can also have an experiment with the, uh, the little codes on it as well. For example, the video one was the first one was the muscle baby. The second one was something to do with weightlifting. I've got this, the first one down here is Jingle Bells, I don't know why. Um, so it just runs through different videos and stuff like that and the responses it gives to the videos. So while well, we've got Furby here, and I've shown you all the bits and pieces to do with it, to um, disconnect Furby from the app, the uh, NRF Connect app, you just go back to services, and then back again, and you see that the Furby is still connected there. And that should be, I don't think that, there isn't a disconnect thing on it anyway. So you just get rid of it. And he should, theoretically, go to sleep. Oh, normally he farts when I do that. So, let's see. So, you close the app off, like that, get rid of it, and then put Furby to sleep. Okay, so Furby's gone to sleep. So when you wake him back up again, the debugging menus will got will they will have gone from his eyes, and uh, he'll be fine. So wake Furby back up. And there we go. Furby's back to normal again. So that was a little sort of foray into uh, debugging and the things you can do with it. Like I said, it doesn't hurt the Furby. All it does is show the little menus that otherwise you wouldn't see. Which also gives you... Come on, let's put you to sleep. Yeah, so it basically just um, shows you the phrases that Furby says. There we go. It's easier to talk when the Furby isn't talking over me. Uh, yeah, so basically, like I said, just um, it shows you uh, the menu you wouldn't normally see, and it also... Um, enables you to listen to each of the Furby's phrases. It doesn't really do anything to it, it doesn't overwrite anything. If you turn the LEDs off it's only until the Furby uh, sort of starts talking again as you saw. So um, it's just a little sort of fun thing to mess around with if you so want to. But I will say that um, you have to be willing to accept any if it does cause a problem with the Furby, now mine never has, mine has never caused a problem with the Furby, but I, d I will warn you guys, use at your own risk, because if anything does go wrong, now I, like I said I haven't known anything to go wrong, but if anything does go wrong, you must be aware you've used it at your own risk, knowing fully well that, as with anything, something might go wrong. So I'm not encouraging any of you to do this, I'm only simply showing you what it, it what it does you know what it's like so like I said use at your own risk I'm not held responsible for it it's entirely your thing like it was entirely my thing if I had messed up my Furby someone else um, it was uh, yeah yeah who is another YouTube user um, showed me how to do this and he said to me exactly the same thing as I'm saying now he said you know I can do it and it won't give you any problems but once again use at your own risk if your Furby messes up that's down to you. So, like I said, that's it's just it's a little fun thing to do if you want to. But if you're in the least bit worried, don't do it because it's really not worth it. 
um, but uh, it's just I just like messing with things I like messing around with technology and investigating it and finding out how things work I always have so I thought I would share this with you today anyway that's probably the end for this video it has gone on a little too long and I will see you next time also as always feel free to click any of the boxes below if you're interested in related videos and this is Silver Wolf signing off